It's been theorized that people used to use a deck of playing cards as a fortune-telling device. That you could sit at home with a deck of cards and shuffle them. And if you mix them up and you mix them well enough, supposedly that deck of cards was supposed to give you a hidden message that was important for you at that moment. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it's a little bit like tarot cards. If you buy into it, you mix up those cards and you believe that they could give you an important message, then maybe they will. So let's see if this deck of cards gives us a subtle message. Wash your hands. This message is sponsored by soap. Remember soap? Use it to wash your hands. Hi, my name is Ben Seidman, and I am a magician. And today I'm going to be teaching you some magic tricks so that you can perform them for your friends and family. These are tricks that are easy to do. I learned all of them when I was a little kid. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. But before we do, there's three basic rules in magic that you need to know. The first rule is that you never tell the audience how a trick is done. There's a reason it's called a secret. You're trying to give people the feeling of amazement. And if you perform a trick and then teach them how it's done, then all of that amazement goes away. So always keep the secret. Rule number two is that you never perform the same trick for an audience twice. If you perform a trick for someone, you might amaze them. But if you do it again, then they're going to figure it out. So make sure that you always only perform a trick for an audience once. And lastly, rule number three is to practice. Even though these tricks are easy to learn, they still require some practice. I think the best way to rehearse is to stand in front of a mirror and practice your magic. That way, when you perform them for people, you're guaranteed to amaze them. I think this is the perfect first trick for me to teach you, and the reason is because this is one of the first tricks that I ever learned. It uses a thimble, put the thimble underneath your, your arm, and it reappears behind your head. And it's a great trick. Uh, most people don't carry around thimbles, so oftentimes I will use a chapstick top. You just take off the top of uh, a chapstick, put it on your finger, and you do the same trick. But since we're doing this on camera, I'm going to use the thimble because it's bright and easy to see. So get yourself a thimble or the top of a chapstick and you're ready to go. There's one simple move that you need to learn and it's like this. You put the thimble on your index finger and you make a fist other than the finger and you practice doing this. You bring the finger in and your thumb and other fingers grab the thimble and then you point your finger like that. So all you're doing is learning to take off the thimble like that and put it back on. So that's what you have to practice. Curling your finger in, grabbing the thimble, pointing your finger, and then doing the reverse, putting your finger back in, grabbing the thimble, and bringing it back into position. So that's all you have to do to practice. Once you've got this down, you're pretty much ready to do the trick. You just have to practice the choreography, which looks like this. You point the thimble towards your audience. Now this is the back view. Imagine that the audience is out here. You point it like this, and then you put it underneath your arm and bring your arm down. Once you do that, you do the move where you steal the thimble into your hand and you squeeze it like this so that it can't be seen. Once you do this, you pretend to trap the thimble under your arm and you bring your finger out. Once you point it at the audience, you bring it back behind your head and you reverse the process, putting the thimble back on your finger to show that it reappeared. So again, all you have to do is practice taking the thimble off and putting it back on and making sure that when it's off and in your hand, it's hidden. You don't want it showing like this. So once you have this down and you practice this, you learn the choreography, which is point at the audience. Pretend to put it under your arm, but sealing it into the hand, pointing at the audience again, putting your hand behind your head, and putting the thimble back on. And if you put all of this together, it looks like the thimble jumps back behind your head. 
This is really weird, I know, but I was born with strange thumbs. Like, this one stretches if I bite down on it. Here, here watch. Hmm? Isn't that strange? So that thumb stretches, but this one actually pops off. If I uh, just grab it like that, it almost looks like it comes right off. I can even pull off the entire thing at the base. Like that. Stick it right back on. Tricks with your thumb. You don't need to carry anything with you to do these. Stretching the thumb is one of my favorite. Looks pretty bizarre. But then also there's the infamous pulling off the thumb like that. So stretching the thumb, what you do is you use one of your hands. I'm going to use my left hand because I'm left-handed. But it doesn't matter. You just choose one and you bite down on your thumb. You don't bite down hard. You just lightly put it between your teeth. Now it's going to look like I cover the thumb with my fist and stretch. But really, I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to switch thumbs. So this is the exposed view so you can see how it works. As I bite down on my hand, I show that the thumb's in my mouth. And as I come back up, I cover, this thumb comes back down and this one comes up. The position from the front looks like this, but from the side, like this. So the thumb is in my mouth. As I come up, I grab this thumb and I extend this one. Now I can bring this thumb down and this thumb up. So as my hands separate just a little bit, this thumb extends a little bit and this one drops lower. And the illusion is created that this thumb is actually the same as this one. So from the front, it looks like you're able to stretch it like this, but really, I'm just switching my thumbs. The thing you want to do here is just practice. Practice making this smooth so that it doesn't look like you're exchanging thumbs. So it just looks like this one goes out of view and this one comes into view. And the important thing here is that when you bite down on it, you show it. As you come up, this thumb goes into the mouth like this. Then you do your stretch and then you reverse the actions. So one more time, it looks like this. And then the trick's done. Next, the oldest trick in the book, pulling your thumb off. To do this, you're going to learn to pull your thumb off like that. The way you do this is you practice bending in your thumbs with, uh, with both hands. You get used to this. Now one of them, I'm going to use my right hand. You can use either hand. You can use a mirror image view or you can uh, follow your left hand with my left hand and your right as, as my right. It doesn't matter. But either way, you hold one of your hands like this. So I just bend in my thumb, and then I point it upwards. I want the knuckle to point at my audience. That way, it looks like my thumb disappears when I bend it in. Now, similar to the stretching the thumb trick, the thumbs are going to exchange one for the other. So I practice bending these in. So I show my thumb, I come over with my hand, I cover up this thumb, and I bend it in, and as I bend it in, this thumb bends also, and I put these together. This is sort of the, uh, the action that's happening under my hand, is that the thumbs come together like this, except they're whole, held up against the hand, which means that if I bring my index finger down on top, it looks like this is the same thumb. So I show my thumb, I cover it. When I cover it, I bend it. I put the other thumb like this and cover it with my finger, and all of this happens quickly. So I show my thumb, I cover it and get into position. Now I'm ready to slide the tip of my thumb off like this. And that is the magic part. And then to finish, I'm going to just open my thumbs as I turn this hand up. So you practice going from here to here. So again, you start by showing your thumb you get into position, you pull your thumb off like this, and then you exchange your thumbs as you open your hand. Lastly, you can pull off your thumb like this and put it back on. 
That's the last in the Thumb Trick Trilogy. Here's how you do it. It's really easy. In fact, I think this is the easiest one. All you do is you bend your thumb down and bend it back up. So from, from the back, the secret angle, is you just bend down your thumb, bend it back up. And from the front, your other hand comes over, covers the thumb from the audience's view, you bend it down, and now you pretend to grab it, you lift it up, and you put it back down and reverse the process. Again, you pretend to grab the thumb and put it back down. And when I do this, I like to add a little sound. I just make that sound with my mouth. You can go or any sound you can make with your mouth to enhance the illusion of pulling the thumb off and putting it back on. And that's it.